Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Great to have you with us. And today we're talking about the NBA, which kicks off or tips off this week uh, on October the 19th. That's Tuesday night. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the NBA. And then we're also going to take a look at some games on October the 20th. Uh, I've highlighted a few games for us to go over to give you some picks for as we get ready for this great NBA season that we're all excited for. Now, the new NBA season is going to be a bit of a throwback from something we haven't seen over the last two years. Uh, over the last two years, we've been hit by the pandemic, and now we are going to be getting back to the way basketball, or the NBA that is, was before the pandemic. So we're going to see a full 82-game season, and we're going to have um, a full playoffs uh, with the season now starting tomorrow, I guess it is, uh, October the 19th. And like I said, we're going to give you some picks for October the 20th. As on the 19th, we only have a, a couple of games coming up, but then on the 20th, we get all the teams or more of the teams in the NBA getting into the full swing of things. Now, as you can see there on the Z Code System blog, recently I wrote a blog on the best tools for NCAA betting, and that is the best tools that we have there at Z Code System. And I go through a number of the tools that we use there, if you are into NCAA betting, and hopefully you are. Uh, and there's also a video up here on YouTube, so you can find that and watch that and get all the info that we posted about and that we spoke about. So you can start using those great NCAA tools if you're a member already of Z Code System or you're not. And if you're not a member of Z Code System, be sure to go over there right now, zcodesystem.com, and you can sign up and get all the great tools that we use there to, to uh, make your picks and to help you with your sports investments. Uh, but also, um, if you're not a member and you, you, you decide not to be a member, we're going to be, excuse me, we're going to be giving you all of these great picks here through our videos uh, each day, each week, as well as the blogs that we have on the on the on the blogs we have on the website. So, guys, we're talking about the NBA today, and it tips off on October the 19th. We're all excited about it. And one of the things that is going to be happening with the NBA this season that uh, the NBA is going to carry on with, uh, which they've done, I guess, the last two years, is the is the playoff play-in game, which will be taking place at the end of the season, right before the playoffs. Uh, it's provided a lot of excitement and a little bit more uh, intrigue going into the playoffs. So we're going to see that again this season uh, with the NBA. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to see a lot of um, very similar things this season. It's going to be an 82-game season uh, with the NBA, like I say, tipping off on October the 19th. Uh, we're not going to see that cup tournament that was previously talked about by the NBA uh, that we were, or that they were hoping to implement around this time, around 2021. Uh, that has been put on hold due to the pandemic. Uh, but we're going to see those play-in games to try to provide some more um, excitement there at the end of the season uh, for teams who are uh, on the bubble or possibly not going to make the playoffs. So that will, I guess, give a little bit of not only incentive, but it will fill in for the excitement that the cup tournament would have given. So we're going to see that. Now, before we go any further and I give you some picks today, let's get over to the odds on the, the futures odds, that is, for which team will win the NBA championship this season. Now, I'm using my favorite online sports book, Bet365. There are so many more sports books out there. Um, I used Bovada uh, in our in our blog, uh, used the odds from that. Um, but now I'm using the NBA futures odds for 2021-2022 from Bet365, just because I had to be or I happened to be uh, scrolling through that a little bit earlier. And as we can see, we've got our top three teams who are the favorites this year going into the season, the Brooklyn Nets, LA Lakers, and the Milwaukee Bucks. And this is going to be a fantastic season in the Eastern Conference. Uh, we've got a super team there, the Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Durant, James Harden, uh, Blake Griffin is there, uh, and possibly Kyrie Irving, depending on things. Um, they look outstanding on paper. A lot of money has been spent to build this team. And as you can see, they're plus 230 to win the NBA championship. Now, keep in mind the latest reports that uh, I've heard, and I got my news from The Athletic recently, uh, that the... Uh, the Nets will not have Kyrie Irving playing with him due to his decision not to be vaccinated uh, for COVID-19. And rather than the team having him play the away games, which he's not going to be allowed to play in New York, I guess it is, uh, due to the, the the rules or the, the laws there in New York at the moment, um, he would only be able to play the away games, uh, possibly not all the away games either. Uh, and the Nets have decided to just suspend him or just leave him out of the team. 
for this season at the moment uh, without messing up the chemistry uh, with the Nets. But we've got the Lakers at plus 330, LeBron James back and looking to win the NBA championship again. They did it in 2019-20. And of course, last season's champions, the Milwaukee Bucks at plus 800. They are the third favorites to win the title. Uh, a lot of the same figures back there. They have strengthened uh, this season, giving Giannis some more um, role players around him to help them win the title. Uh, interesting ones there. G Golden State, they're plus 1,200, and the Clippers, plus 1,400. You know, it wasn't too long ago that people were talking about how the Clippers were potentially the best team in the West and potentially um, the team to to beat and and a NBA champion uh, in the making, but we've seen the Clippers be, well, the Clippers, uh, and not make it there. Um, the Suns plus 1,600. The Suns made it to the finals last year and were beaten by the Bucks. Exciting team there. Chris Paul back to, to play for the Suns. We're going to take a look at the Suns opening night game. They're going to be playing the Nuggets. So we're going to give a pick for that game here coming up. And, you know, some of the interesting picks, or excuse me, not picks, I should say, some of the interesting odds there, Atlanta, uh, plus 4,000. They made it to the Eastern Conference semifinals last season. You know, that's that might be a dark horse of a pick to, to win the NBA Finals. Uh, and, you know, one of the dark horses that I've been reading about is the Miami Heat. Uh, Kyle Lowry going there in the offseason, they're plus 2,000. But, again, it's really difficult to look past Brooklyn Nets or Milwaukee Bucks to win the Eastern Conference. Um, the Nets have been really building this team since signing Durant a couple of years ago. Obviously, he was unable to play uh, in the beginning uh, due to injury. Uh, so, uh, you know, they're they're looking like the team to beat there in the Eastern Conference. But then again, the Bucks are looking good as well. Uh, I think the West may be more wide open this year. And, you know, it, it feels like the there's a shift this year. Usually we're talking about the Western Conference being the strongest conference of the two in the NBA, uh, but this year it looks like there's been a shift to the Eastern Conference. And uh, looking at the Boston Celtics there, that's the team that uh, I support there in the NBA. Uh, maybe a little bit too high there, plus 3,300 to win the NBA Finals with uh, Brad Stevens now as GM. They don't look like a very strong team. All right, let's look at those picks now for the coming up uh, Wednesday, October the 20th, uh, the NBA. Let's take a look at three games. We'll start with that. Um, we'll start with that Suns Nuggets game. Okay, so if you're a member of Z Code System, you know this is the VIP club and the wall, as we call it there. And we are going to take a look at these games. Now, if you're not a member of Z Code System, obviously you get all of these sports here if you sign up and you get these picks from the VIP wall. And the wall is a great tool. It's probably, and I think it's the simplest to use and uh, potentially the one that gives you the most information. I'm going to scroll down there. We're looking at October the 20th, and you've got all these games here that we can look at, but we're going to look at, if I can find it here, the Nuggets and the Suns, which is a rematch of last year's NBA Western Conference semifinals. Uh, the Suns swept the Nuggets in, uh, in that series, and the Suns go into this game in good form. They are winners of their last three games uh, in the preseason there. They did really well. Uh, the Nuggets only winning one game in preseason. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, the preseason doesn't really have a lot of bearing on the long um, on the long NBA season. But you know what? I think it does have uh, quite a bit of bearing on it because you're playing in preseason. We saw these teams playing other NBA teams. They weren't going off to Europe to play EuroLeague teams uh, or, or down in South America to play teams. So I think there's going to be a little bit of an impact uh, on those records going into the season. Now, as we can see, the Nuggets are dead up while the Suns are burning hot. And we can see that we have an over of 223 and a half points uh, going into this game and a score prediction of Phoenix winning 118 to Denver with 102. Now, let's take a look at the head-to-head -head over the last few games between these teams. And as you can see there, the Suns won uh, in a sweep in the playoffs last year against the Nuggets, uh, and in each game scoring over 116 points. Nuggets defense really let themselves down. Uh, Nuggets, or excuse me, the Suns winning both home games in the playoffs and going on the road to win. Um, but then we look at the regular season there in January. They played a back-to-back -back with Denver winning. Uh, the Suns uh, picking up a win also in early January against the Nuggets. So a little bit of um, back and forth between these teams last season. Uh, the Suns, though, did pull things out in the postseason. And I think the Suns are in much better form going into this game, having won three straight games in preseason. And we can look at those real quickly, uh, beating Portland, the Clippers, and the Lakers in preseason. And as you can see there, Phoenix scoring lots of points, over 117 per game. 
And you know what? I like the Suns to pick up a win here. Uh, the Suns runners up last year in the NBA Finals. Uh, at times had the NBA Finals championship in their hands, but let it slip through. Uh, I think they're going to be a good team again this year. And I'm picking the Suns to win against the Nuggets in this game. Should be a good game with a lot of points uh, going in this. And I expect the Suns to be scoring quite a lot. All right, so that's our first game. I'm picking the Suns. Uh, let's take a look at a second game here. I'm going to go with the Boston Celtics uh, because, you know, I'm a fan of the Celtics. And they're going to be playing the Knicks at Madison Square Garden uh, coming up on Wednesday. And as you can see there, right there, the Celtics go into this game not in very good form. Uh, they won twice in preseason, both games at home, before going on the road and losing twice and uh, getting up 121 points to Miami in their most recent preseason game. The Knicks going into the game burning hot, uh, winning four straight games in preseason and uh, going unbeaten in preseason and uh, looking really good as we go into this game. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but I think the Knicks are going to take this win. And as you can see there, the score prediction, New York 108, Boston 103, uh, with an under of two uh, 215.5 uh, in our totals prediction here. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going with the Knicks on this game. Let's look at the head-to-head -head before we get to this. Uh, Knicks won the team's most recent game, which happened last May at Madison Square Garden. Uh, Boston did return the favor or won previously in uh, at home at, uh, I believe it's TD Gardens, uh, won at home. But uh, we did see the Knicks win three of excuse me, two of three games last year against the Celtics. I think they're going to start well with a win at home uh, in this game. And uh, the Knicks are going to go to 1-0 and after that first game. And the Celtics, not going to be too good of a year. I think they might be fighting for that play-in, playoff spot at the moment. All right, let's take a look at one more game today in our NBA preview and our picks for October the 20th. And, hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting set of games. You know what, let's look at that Rockets game. The Rockets rebuilding this year now without James Harden. And, uh, you know, going into this season, uh, not looking very good in preseason. Uh, they picked up a win over Washington, 125 to 119 on October the 5th. But as you can see there, they lost three straight games, uh, two of which uh, on the road. Losing to San Antonio, Toronto and failing to crack 100 points in both of those road games. And remember, this is a road game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, the Timberwolves going into this game, uh, winners of three of four in preseason, only lost to Brooklyn. Remember, the Brooklyn's supposed to or expected to or favorites, I guess you should, you should, I guess you should say, uh, to win the NBA championship this season. And so they go uh, into this game winning three of four preseason games. Uh, and the Timberwolves are our score prediction winners, uh, 127 to 112 uh, at home. Now, let's take a look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams. Uh, very interesting game between these two sides because, again, these two teams possibly uh, playoff contender. Well, playoff contenders, I should say. Everybody's a playoff contender on day one. But uh, playoff contenders um, potentially being down towards the bottom, you know, that 6, 7, 8 playoff seed uh, and as you can see here the road team has won the last two games between these teams back in march and april of this uh, uh, last season rockets winning in minnesota before minnesota returning the favor uh, against the rockets but if we go back to march 2021 we did see the timberwolves win at home and the timberwolves are two out of three in wins against the rockets in their last three games and you know what i'm going to back the timberwolves to pick up a win at home on opening night uh, on October the 20th against the Houston Rockets. I don't think the Rockets are going to be very good this season. Uh, Timberwolves, who knows uh, about how they're going to be. Again, like I said, I think these teams are going to be around the 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, positions in the playoffs come the end of the year. Uh, but to start the night, uh, start the season, I'm going to pick the Timberwolves to beat the Rockets. All right, guys, so those are our three picks for this week, October the 20th, coming up in the NBA. It all tips off this week, uh, Tuesday night. October the 19th, that's tomorrow. So be sure you are on Z Code System getting your picks in and make sure you are looking at the wall and all the other tools that we have that will help you make educated sports investments on NBA action all season long. All right, guys, that's that's going to do it for me today here on YouTube and here on the blog. So let us know what you think. Type in your comments down in the comments below and let us know who you're backing this year to win the NBA Finals. And also let us know maybe next time what games you want to see here on the Z Code System channel, uh, as well as like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code. All right, guys, good luck this week with your NBA bets, and I'll see you soon.